But yeah, you know, my name is El Cousteau, and I already know who I'm with right now. Fuck with Taco Talk, the voice of the U. You know, we about to kick this shit real cool for you. Hey, look, man. What the fuck going on? It's your boy, Taco, from Taco Talks TV. I'm with a funny-ass, fly-ass, rapping-ass nigga right now. Super Cousteau shit, man. What's up, bro? What's your name? What's your name? Say it a little bit louder for us. El Cousteau, man. Super Cousteau shit. Um, yeah, man, I just kick cool. Yeah. Make my jam with music, man, you know. Go ahead, bump my day, that's all. You know, it's just another Thursday today. That's it. That's it. Never met this nigga Kusto before, but it felt like my brother. Like this nigga, you know, just good energy when yeah, you man, when you know. meet certain niggas. But just be cool, man. I just be cool. And, and he be cranking, and that's he really cool. be yeah, cranking. I'm highly invested into my craft. Highly <laughs> yeah. invested. Yeah. I just stay humble, stay to myself, and just I invest into me and mine. Yeah. That's all. All right, so we we gonna start it off. Where you from? I'm from Northeast, Washington, D.C., Trinidad, yeah. Staple Street. Yeah. Born and raised, man, you know. Yeah. I'm a Staple Street baby. Yeah. I love it. I love where I'm from. I love the people that I was raised around. I learned a lot of things yeah. coming from where I come from. And it was just like overall, like all of it just, it made me who I am today. Like, Would you have chosen to, to grow up anywhere else? Nah. Not just outside, I mean, not just D.C., but anywhere else, like any other state, any other country. No. Respect. No. Respect. I know. Uh-uh, man. Yeah. No. I love it. <laughs> Keep me in my same place. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. I love it. All right, now, let's talk about your name, bro. Like, I speak Spanish, and I don't even know if Custo is like a, is it, if it's a so, word, what is it? So, Custo came from, uh, like, the, the, the Cousteau, like, you know, like family, uh, ja, ja, it, I'm trying, let me get his, the pronunciation of his name right. Yeah. Jacques Cousteau. His okay. last name is where I got the, this, just the Cousteau from. Yeah. And he's like, he was like a French river, yeah. yeah. Like, he was like into a lot of stuff like, like that. I ain't really like into him. I just, yeah. last name was cool. I just wanted us to have like a, a maiden name as a group yeah. all together that we could all go about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This really describes us, and I feel like who still was it? Cause who still is? It's it stands for what we all stand for, like our definition of it. You know okay, what I'm and what's y'all definition? Was, yeah. Kusto, man, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Okay. Just, okay. Just like a superhero group. Or nah, something? nah, we ain't saving. We ain't saving. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't saving. It's just like, man, it, we we it's it's me, Javier, Young Coca, Jay, and Fat Ron. Okay. That's the Kusto Five. You know what I'm saying? And everybody does something different. Barry make clothes. Me and Jay rap. Man, he produce. Ron okay. take pictures. So everything homemade, homegrown. Yeah. Everything Cousteau, yeah. like you know. So it, it's like basically with the definition of Cousteau overall is. Yeah. Bar gonna be mad because I ain't giving y'all the mission statement he made. <laughs> but it's just man to me helping. You know what I'm saying? Always willing to to help your friend. Yeah. When you know what I'm saying when they whenever they need something and it's, it's like a brotherhood. Yeah. Like if your last name Cousteau, you know what I'm saying if you got this tattoo, yeah. you uphold that. You yeah. you put that in your heart because yeah. you know what this really stands for. Like you know what this is. Like yeah. it's a code that can't be broken. You know what you are expected when you with this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it ain't and it ain't no shit like oh you gotta do all this extraordinary extra shit. Yeah. You being you, that's yeah. really what Cousteau is, and you. And you abiding by that, and you making sure you stand by that, and you not compromising with nothing. You gonna be you, and you gonna do, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right by your, by your, by yourself and your peers and others. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be uphold, uh, upholding. If if so, Kusto was a dish, what would that dish look like? Because it just like sound like a dish. A food? Yeah. If it was, if it was like a whole if meal. Kusto was a, it was, it was, 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 was a food. Let me try to think. Man, that shit a hat. That should have had to be, man. That should have had to be some some ultra, ultra expensive, <laughs> extraordinary shit. Like, oh man, we like might gotta go with the lamb. With the lamb, okay. The lamb, I'm... the nice. Matter of fact, we gonna go with nice lamb. No lamb on pita bread, like it's a taco. I just had that though. Lamb just, pita look, bread. I just had, I right. had a, a pita bread lamb pizza. The other day, that joint was torched. That's what I'm saying. See, the lamb, rice, fajita peppers, 
on a pita bread <laughs> from Christmas house. <laughs> so you be eating good. Yeah. 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 Respect. Um, all right, you've been rapping for a while. Like I heard about you for like like a while ago, for right? For real? Like, yeah. That's I, wild. I, no, 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 I ain't know nobody knew me, kid. No, no, no. I knew minute. about you. Um, look though, and this we just gonna go back in time real quick. Bro, I seen you at the at the uh, the Renners do pop up. Yeah, I, at Frankie Jones. Yeah, I bro, definitely performed. The, and the first time, like you know, I went in there. I, I ain't know about you. I'm not gonna hold you. I went in there, and I and I seen little dude. You know, he on fly whatever head yeah. person whatever. So I'm like, okay, boom. You know, da da da. And I see you in there, bro. Yeah. And the way you came in, bro, I looked at my man and I looked at you and then I looked back I had at that, my I think I had that front coat on there. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking. I did, I did look Audra. I ain't going to lie. I was cool. I was so, cool. So I'm looking in there. I'm like, and for me at the time, I wasn't used to the swag being like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I came, I'm like, oh, what's going on, yeah, bro? Yeah, who, who the fuck is bro? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. What's, what's going on? on? What are you on? But I heard that, uh, like, and that night, like, I just didn't pay attention because I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? But I came back to, I seen a vlog about it. Then I came back to the Runners Do song. Yeah. Oh, that thing saucy. And that was a long right. no, not. That thing was a long oh, yeah. time ago. Thank you, bro. Oh, yeah, carry out just, carry out just got on the way in. Just shit just dropped in. Yeah. Shit just dropped in. This is my energy right here, y'all. Wait, what's that? What you got? What, what, we, what we got? The good ass half and half. Listen, if they. If they put that motherfucking T in this, surely they doing the right damn thing. You don't think that, you think it, you ever heard somebody call it liquid diabetes? Listen, <laughs> I ain't judging you. Yeah. I had, look, all I know is this shit right here. Yeah. Good dope. Do you, um, good dope. You trust any carry out? I don't, but I had this jump before because I was, I, I told you, um, crazy, yeah, real life, crazy coincidence, show. I already had made me sick, made and he, I came here and shit. And he recorded his verse on the joint, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I ordered the same meal that day. Yeah, DJ Wright was like, Nah, that joint all right. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. Shit, I got it. And this shit. What carry out that? Cause I don't trust no carry out. It's Jerry's. Jerry's. You know, you know Jerry's. You, you know Jerry's. They die. You know they they credible. Yeah. They, you, you, you can, like, I be messing with Lenny's though, bruh. I ain't never had Lenny's. I grew up on, on, I really grew up on Young's, for real. Okay. Like, I was a, a Young's baby. You think they a chain? You think it's a chain of Young's? Cause it's like three Young's in DC, I bro. Know. Oh, oh. But early in the I wrote a different one. I get different shit. Like, I get different service. So I don't know if they, you know what I'm saying, on the yeah. same shit. You ain't even get the wings and mumbo sauce, bro. What's going on? Now, let me tell y'all, I love mumbo sauce. But I don't trust everybody, Mumbo. So all right, okay, okay. And I ain't know what they shit was gonna be on. So all I'm right, like, so you know what? Up. I'm gonna keep it cool, fried, you know, just salt. Yeah. What kind? What kind of? Uh, uh, what kind of Mumbo sauce you like? Cause look, we got the pink joint, the slime Nickelodeon pink slime joint. You got the dark red spicy joint that's kind of tangy, and I feel like it's some in the in like the orange shit. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't. I don't even pack them cause I just know. America's best and Hank Jamal yeah, and Mungo Sauce Torch. Yeah. Tony's breakfast on top. Yeah. Torch. That young that used to be on Blacksburg Road, that young. It's closed down. Torch. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, top three Mumbo Sauce in the city I don't want to hear. I can't believe you don't it's know like there. I can't believe you don't know like which which Mumbo Sauce. Nah, I mean I do. I, I do, I do, but it's just like I done had so many. Yeah, so it's like I had some mumbo sauce that's good, just color different than some yeah. things I had. Okay. I just know specific places like, you know how to be doing that motherfucker. All right, now into the tape. If you if you if you haven't heard it by now, straight pause, drop season. Pause this joint right here, right. Stop with the fuck you doing. Get Everything. the fuck up, cause you doing something wrong uh, already. <laughs> you need to get your motherfucking get your headphone, yeah. speaker, whatever, yeah. connect your Bluetooth. And turn that shit up. Look, yeah. Go so listen. Get in. Listen to Karuchi first. <laughs> then listen to yeah. listen to three percent. <laughs> then listen to Triangle Chokehold. <laughs> got the track listen. And then <laughs> shit, I don't know what else after that. But them the crank. It's a whole bunch. It's a whole body of work that crank, which is what I'm trying to get into. But y'all need to go listen to them three first before you even process the rest of the interview. All right, pause. Oh, right here, we gonna wait. Oh wait, 
We wait. 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 The pause is. I finished this motherfucker sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass is better than motherfucker. <laughs> we better have heard that shit three times. <laughs> but like no. Um. But yeah, man. Straight drop, bro. How you? What's up with that? How you do that? Well, basically, how I came up, like the whole concept of the tape. You know, you got straight drop. Yeah. It's like the it, it's the best. Like when a lot of the times you hear that shit, of course a motherfucker might be talking about like you know like drugs or something like yeah. that shit. That shit straight drop. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. yeah. So basically, I put it in the context of music. Okay. Like I got the best dope out. Like okay. you know what I'm saying? That's how I'm speaking about my music. So yeah. that's like the the overall aspect of like where the name came from. Yeah. And the content. To me, it's some of the best shit that's out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, definitely is. Like, it, it all makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, from Karuchi to California Living. Yeah. It's two different tempos, but the content in it is crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I took a. It took me a long time to really have this appreciation for my music. Like, create something I believe is this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this. This good. Focus on your sound. Yeah. So like, I really. To me, personally, this is my best, like, all full together project. Yeah. But this isn't going to be my best one. Yeah. Like, this was just a stepping stone of Il Cousteau, like, yeah. really coming into his own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got, I, so I got some new shit. Yeah. I'm trying to blow, I'm, I'm, I'm going to blow shit out of the water. How you, how you pick the, like, and, and, and I like, I love Straight Drop Season, mainly because, like, Every song on it is well constructed. Like you hear people all the yeah. time say, "All right, boom, I need my music to be a body of work." But that joint is really like a body. Of, like it's different flavors on there. It's different flows. It's different all types like, of different shits on there. Like, what was the, what was the selection like for that? Like, all right, let's start with beats, right? Are you? What was the beats that stood out to you? So, a lot of people probably don't even like. I mean, of course, people don't know. The motherfuckers don't know. Yeah. But, I'm super serious about music, so like, like, so that shit was constructed throughout like 12 months, honestly, just of me challenging myself. Like, I go home, I come in my room, I lock my door, my phone, of course, it's not, it, I ain't no slice and say it's on do not disturb, but it's on silent, yeah. I'm relaxed, and I'm challenging myself, I'm just turning on different styles of beats, and I'm just, I just freestyle. How you how you find different styles of beats? Cause you know sometimes YouTube will send you back to like the same shit you started with. You I mean, I just I I don't let the beat determine what I'ma say. Okay. Like. Okay. That's just, tough. Like, even though certain some beats are similar, but I'ma dictate the sound of this. Cause my voice, I consider my voice an instrument, which okay. it is. So it's gonna make a different sound. Yeah. Like I'ma make sure of it. But it took me a while to really like learn how to do shit like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, had a, enough confidence to say, I don't give a fuck what beat you turn on, this motherfucker gonna sound good. Yeah. Even though I do like, excuse me, a particular style of beat. Yeah. But like, yeah, that's how I be running about it. That's how I gotta keep that, because it was a time I, I didn't have access to some of the, the better beats, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, me keeping that mentality throughout with a lot of terms, it just helped me when I did get a chance to get with like better producers and like better sounds that I could really like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause havoc with that shit. I realize. What kind of what kind of beats you like more? Like I feel like this is a given, but you know, just to make sure. Well, I'm into everything. Like I've been getting back I've been getting up with producers recently. I'm really into guitar, like guitar my favorite yeah. instrument. I learned I was trying to learn how to play guitar when I was younger and shit. Yeah. But that shit, you know, it ain't fall through for me. I'm yeah. still trying to learn. Yeah. But like, I like that. I like, I love like acoustic guitar, four string bass, yeah. electric guitars, like all that shit. Like that shit would interest me with sound. So a lot of my new shit, if you can hear, my feel good on my tape. Yeah, that's what I'm crazy too. But like, yeah, that's probably something like one of them. It's anything in the beat that I will probably always like as a guitar, no matter how many times I do it. Cause you can make so many different sounds with a fucking guitar. It's ridiculous. How you come in with like different stuff? Like, like you not really attached to one kind of flow. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Like every every flow is just it's his own. Like for real, like every song. How I want. 
I, I take in different alter ego. Okay. Like yeah. one day, because I because that's my different walks of life I met. Okay. Like I've been in relationships. Yeah. I've had friendships go the right way for me, go the wrong way. I've been, you know what I'm saying, in street situations with different shit. Yeah. I've been in, you know what I'm saying, business like problems with shit. So I've seen a lot. Like, you know, yeah, just different shit. And so when it when it come back to that, all right. So one of the, one of your things is it is it super cool stuff? Is that one of your alter egos? Or is super cool stuff. It's chef. Okay. Then you got El Custo. Okay. And then you got Powder. But the last one's the last one. Powder. What's that? Powder. That's. <laughs> Shout out to my you know my good homie, Gilo. Yeah. Butter and Powder. You know. Okay. Be forever. Kicking this motherfucking jam yeah. forever. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, but yeah. nah, this is some shit we call each other. Okay. But that's really one of my alter ego. Cause I, like teaming up with her, she was like, like she had challenged me with shit, and that it might not even be like intentionally, but yeah, she always wanted me to do better. So that like me being with her like created that alter ego of powder. Yeah. Cause it's like. This will this this what me and her are. I'm mean, yeah. cool as shit. So in music it transpired into me making that like cool ass auto tune pitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that shit. Yeah. I like that. And I say super and I was asking about super cool stuff because I wonder, is super cool so like alright, I put on the flash shit today. Now I'm super cool so is super cool so like a nigga with a cape and he's nah, that nigga. flying around saving hoes. Nah. Mm mm. <laughs> mm mm. Not that one, not the last one. <laughs> not the last one. <laughs> Super Kusto, cool that nigga just like, it's like, I, I look at him as the person who I want to be four years from now. You okay. know, like, when I really, like, pop off as an artist. Yeah. Like, the one who's been through it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, he done dealt with you trying to do this and dealt with you trying to do that. And he done persevered, like, Writers, all these writer blocks he might have had, or just different situations that yeah. was hindering him from, you know what I'm saying, taking that next step. Yeah. So, like, you can throw whatever at Super Gusto. Yeah. And he gonna, you know what I'm saying, he gonna smack that shit down. Yeah. And Super Gusto, it's like, it's not even just for me, it's for the game. Like, you a hit. If we out somewhere, we turned up, it's Super Gusto, because we, yeah. like, we in our moment. We, okay. we, we living in that moment, like that essence that you can't take nothing away from us. Yeah, I like right. that. I like that. Um, what genre of music? If if you if you want to say rap, right? What genre of music would you say that your music is? Jam music. What's that? Jam music. All right. Is that something you created, or is that already existing? I honestly, I ain't even trying to be funny. I haven't heard somebody say they make jam music. Somebody, yeah. I'm not saying somebody have it, but that's oh, what I consider. When you say jammers, you mean perks. It's just jammer music, like the feel. It's the okay. It's the feel, the vibe, the bounce. It's like, of course, like when take, you take when a you, killer in the background. When you jamming, <laughs> it's like, of course, like when you like a lot of people say they jamming, they high. You know what I'm saying? They high it up. Oh, yeah. you know, an earth yeah. or an oxy, something like that. Yeah. But again, I try because I did. I used to take them jumps a whole lot. So of yeah. course, I'd be like, yeah, I'm jamming. But I transpired it on the music end, like with the music lingo. So yeah. I made a jam of music because when you hide up off of like Ertz or like Oxys, you you cool as a motherfucker. Like <laughs> everything just flowing. Yeah. So with the music, I feel like I make jam of music because when you hear me rap, everything go with I said eight bars ago. Yeah. And it's like, damn, like yeah. I've been grooving to this joke the whole time. The song goes, <laughs> oh, I want to hear it again. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's what I consider jam. No, nah, I really do that though. Like, you sit there and you listen to a song, you're like, damn, I've really been listening to this drink for about 12 minutes already. It was like, and it's one song, and the one song is only like, what, three, four minutes? Yeah, because I don't like them. I'm going to probably make longer music as I get older. Yeah, and like get more listeners, but. Should I be having to say, I don't be really like wanting to make songs too long. Cause yeah. I know a lot of people, 
You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna want to listen but to some shit for like four minutes. Like sometimes you hear something, bro. Sometimes you yeah, you something. is right though. You definitely is right. Sometimes you hear something and you want it to be way longer. Like, yeah. damn, cool stuff. Why you ain't crushing? I know you I, had a few some people. More. I definitely a few people that that hit me with that. Not be like, you right? Yeah. But that shit coming. Like it's definitely it's coming. It's like like all of that shit. Like that real like in depth shit. I just I gotta catch your attention. I gotta yeah. want you, you gotta want to get him move. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm giving away a little bit of my marketing scheme, which I shouldn't be doing, but guess what? You know what I'm saying? I got I gotta let look you know. Though, nobody nobody can cook the sauce the way that you cook it. But yeah. I was gonna say, what kind of music you think inspires you? Like, like, and when I say this, I mean like, Migos kind of like mix hip hop with like some other genres. You know what I'm saying? And it was cranking. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is, is there any any genres that go over top of your that you're trying to mix with hip hop? I love, I love like, um, like Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like. Yeah. On the far left side of like this, different from like the style of music I make. Like, I really, I really like that shit. Like, "Stay Away to Heaven." Yeah, "Stay Away to Heaven" by Led Le Zeppelin. That shit, like that. I heard this nigga. He put Zeppelin in the hook. He said, um, he said, he said, rocking and rolling like Zeppelin. Some, some take you to heaven. Yeah, Led Zeppelin. They got that shit. Yeah, motherfucking Rolling Stones. I miss you. That that jump. So, so torch. I never really listened to Zeppelin, but is that is he like a rock star? Is he no, like Led Zeppelin is a band. Oh, it's a band. Okay, yeah, yeah, so Led Zeppelin is a band. They be going crazy like dubstep kind of music or like. Nah, it's an older star. band. This old, this old rock, like this the Rolling Stones wave, like like the joint that be on bands. the shirt. Yeah, What's the joint that everybody wearing on the shirt. It's different. It's different rock bands, but like it's one of those bands that would be on like that style shirt. Yeah, like they do some shit like an old collaboration of old yeah. concert tees. But like definitely Led Zeppelin. Shit, Led Zeppelin, definitely. I, 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 you could quote me on this. I know they one of the highest selling like rock bands ever. Yeah. Far as like records and all that. You think shit. they probably was on rock band when that joint came out? Fuck yeah. I need to go back because I. Led I, I, Zeppelin, like, stay away to heaven. Yeah. Led Zeppelin, stay away to heaven. I know that shit. At least a high population of motherfuckers. No, that song is the shit. Yeah. Led Zeppelin, Stay Away to Heaven. I knew the this. fucking guitar solo on that shit. Yeah. When well, he was shredding the joint. Fucking yeah. priceless. Man, I wish I could play that shit for y'all right now, man. That shit crazy. Y'all niggas watching this on YouTube, pause the video again. Like, I want y'all to feel involved. Led, Led Zeppelin, Stay Away to Fucking Heaven. Boom. Listen to that shit. Boom. I might get y'all the Commodore's Zoom. Cause see, now y'all got me in my shit. Led Zeppelin. Call the, listen to the Commodore Zoom. Okay. That shit right there, that shit is like that too. Okay. That shit, that, yeah, now that, that Zoom by the Commodore, oh my fucking God. And why you listening to that, listen to, uh, listen to, uh, 3% by El Custo. Motherfucker. <laughs> Cause that's I like, finished the sandwich. <laughs> Your ass better than fucking listen to you the tape. You heard it by now. Hey, look, though. This shit been my eye. <laughs> But, but the joints are like crank though. But back to the back to the questions. Would you say? Can you explain your your fashion and your thoughts around your swag? Cause you just like you know what I'm saying. Like you kind of be going Thank crazy. You, Look, Thank I'm you. looking at the joint with with you and Light Show. Uh, make me sick. Yeah. I'm looking like and, and I'm at this time I'm I'm, I'm liking the music. Yeah. I'm looking like what the fuck Kusto got on, yeah. right? But. I had to pause the video, analyze what was really going yeah. on. I said, "Oh, it's all like cool shit." Yeah, yeah, like check the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How I you? Mean, where that swag come from, bro? From a, from like, a, like uh, growing up, my mom she was really into clothes. She was really into like all of that. Yeah. So instantly, I knew like. High end, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, the the the, the, the top tier Gucci. You yeah. know what I'm saying, all of that. With that, I dabbled into like, you know what I'm saying, the subcategories, yeah. different brands, like this brand that went with this brand, because you know, the internet as I got older yeah. became more handheld, so I just had, I just used to look it up. Yeah. 
and then like I saw really like getting into it trying to dress myself and then my older cousins was always in fly shit yeah like Simon and them Simon used to be fly shit yeah like oh man that shit used to really like make me like that's what got me into like fashion and yeah. then I seen like growing up you know what I'm saying seeing different artists I listen to like brands and shit they had yeah. I'm like oh and then really like being myself and yeah. just like wearing whatever yeah. like what I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever energy you feel yeah, like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen like a lot of shit Thug was doing. Yeah. And Thug, Thug be was, going crazy yeah, too. Thug was doing his thing. Like Brian didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he knew that shit was fly. Yeah. Like Stop. You know what I'm saying? So like pe people like that really, you know what I'm saying, made my my look on fashion totally different from yeah. what it was. Now that's definitely dope though, like you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times like I don't know, you just like just be crushing it though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That'd be cool, man. That'd and I'd be, be looking cool. like, oh, cool style, what's what's going on yeah. right here? Really cooking up. Um Next question though, you think you a hippie? I don't know what's like the exact definition of a hippie. Alright, if somebody if it was a group of people, right? They got and all of these people look like who they say it'd be. You don't have to look like it, but they just categorize you as a hippie. Would you think somebody would be like yes or no? I mean, I, I, I like I seen like like previous definitions of how people would like perceive. Is that the correct word? Yeah, perceive. Yeah, like a hippie. And I don't know, bro. I mean, I just be me. You just like be going crazy with the D rugs, though. What's D rugs? Drugs. Oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like you a little high. <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, shit. I look at it like this. I've been doing drugs, you know what I'm saying, for like a while. Yeah. And they, 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 they not as bad <laughs> as people make them say. <laughs> like. Like of course, you know what I'm saying. Learn how to control yourself yeah. as you as you using them and making sure like you doing. You know what I'm saying. Shit you need to be doing. Like don't be out here getting high and just doing it. You know what I'm saying. Wasting your life. Yeah. I ain't not. That's what that's what Kusa ain't telling you to do. Kusa ain't telling you to do that. Any drugs you uh you don't ever think that people should try no matter what. Bad salt, probably. <laughs> that's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> <laughs> what would yours be? Y'all dying laughing. What would y'all be? <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> ha! 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 Don't you ever put no fucking out in your lungs. No granddaddy. If you no, fucking what, do that. What's it called? Your nephew. Do you? No, no nephew. <laughs> so. <laughs> Alright, boom. What if I not catch your ass smoking out? What you what you doing if you see somebody smoking out? You teeing off on them? I, I, uh, nah, I mean, a per, a, a, if they doing that, they must don't even care about their life. So I'm not gonna waste my time trying to put my hands on somebody yeah. who doesn't care about them. What about you? What if your what if Jay was to catch you with some huff? What he gonna do? For one, he's never gonna catch me with no huff. <laughs> but if we do catch you with some huff, we're gonna let you know about yourself. But the first thing we're gonna say is, wow. Why the fuck did you do this? Why did you do Why? Why? Why the fuck would you do this? <laughs> the second thing I'm trying to figure out is why the fuck is you doing this? Yeah. Why you got huff? Why? Oh, yeah, I know somebody who got some huff. Next time y'all see him, I ask you, If you see your man rolling up some fucking huff, you stop him. You say, no. Then smack it like it's a bug? No. No, you, you stop everything that's going on. Stop burning the funnel. Don't crumble that fucking sheet, nut. If that you pull out, huh? Yeah. Nah, go home. Mm. Go home. You come to a Cousteau function, a yeah. little Cousteau kickback, Cousteau concert, yeah. and you in there smoking motherfucker, huh? Get your ass out. Uh, Get the fuck out. All right. So, but so they like, they probably like they going me crazy. Yeah, they probably like you giving me gun. <laughs> I'm smack. I'm high as shit though, y'all. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm. You toasted. Where, hey, where would you be if you had the audience you feel like you deserve? I can't even say that. I, I, I got the audience I deserve. You think so? Like, I got people, the people who do support me, and listen to my music. Like, they're very. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really, like, they really appreciate it. Like, yeah. I feel like 
things like this take a long time to connect to a lot of people.